A financial market refers to a marketplace where individuals engage in the trading of various financial assets, including stocks, bonds, currencies, commodities, and derivatives. Financial markets play a crucial role in the efficient allocation of capital and resources in an economy. It provides a platform for individuals, institutions, and governments to participate in the buying, selling, and trading of different financial instruments. Within financial markets, there are four principal sets of players that interact in various ways, and each of them contributes to the functioning and dynamics of the market. There are borrowers, which are individuals and businesses. Savers, which are mostly individual investors. Traders and speculators. And financial institutions, or intermediaries. Now, let us look at this example. The institutions that make up the financial market consist of financial institutions, such as commercial banks, finance companies, insurance companies, investment banks, and investment companies. The financial institutions will enter the market as financial intermediaries and stand between those that have money to invest and those that need money to lend. This intermediation process by financial institutions efficiently channels funds from those with money to invest, or we called it as savers, to those in need of money, or borrowers. Through their role as intermediaries, financial institutions bridge the gap between savers and borrowers, enabling capital allocation and investment opportunities within the financial market. They facilitate this process by accepting deposits from savers and extending loans to borrowers, earning a spread between the interest paid on deposits and the interest earned on loans. As for securities markets, such as debt markets and stock markets, they do not directly function as financial intermediaries in the same way that financial institutions do. Instead, securities markets provide platforms for the issuance, trading, and exchange of financial instruments, but they do not typically intermediate the flow of funds between savers and borrowers themselves. However, they indirectly facilitate the interaction between savers and borrowers in financial markets, by providing liquidity and investment opportunities for them. We will discuss it in more detail the next video.